In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure the courses index for LearnDash when using the BuddyBoss theme. So this tutorial is really about our theme, not so much about the BuddyBoss platform plugin. If you're using just the plugin, then the layout is just going to look however LearnDash does it or whatever your other theme does. So you can see here in our theme, the index looks really beautiful. We have all courses, my courses, and we can sort and, and switch between list and grid view. So I'm going to show you how we get all this to look this way. The first thing to note is that when you install LearnDash, automatically it's going to create a URL slash courses, which will be your course index. And if you're running our BuddyBoss theme, then automatically it's going to use this layout as the course index. And here we are in the LearnDash settings. I mentioned this in some other videos that BuddyBoss theme requires LearnDash 3.0 and above because LearnDash 3 has a new better template pack and that's what we've supported. So you'll wanna make sure you're using LearnDash 3 or above and that the active template pack has been set to learn dash three. And then we can go over to body boss theme options and come down to the learn dash area. And we can see we have a few options for the course index. So the first one is show the categories filter. So on here, it's not showing because none of these courses have any categories in them. So to get this to work, we're going to need to assign some categories to some of our courses. So we can see the taxonomy that the categories filter is gonna work by. And our options are course categories or course tags. So let's say course categories. And now we need to add some courses into course categories. So let me just edit a couple. And we can click this button. And then in here, it gives us the course category section. So I'm gonna add one called physics. And we'll save that here. I know this UI is a little bit cumbersome, but that's the way WordPress does it these days. I'll do the same way here. And make sure you add it into course categories rather than regular categories. So I'll put this one in machine learning. All right, now let's refresh our course index. And now we get a categories filter so I can filter by let's say machine learning I'm just going to show our one course that's in that category physics I'm going to show the course in that category or I can go to all categories and again that's based on the course category you could set it to be course tags as well these are taxonomies that come with learn dash I can also turn this off and that's going to remove the categories filter this filter is always here so this is showing alphabetical I could go to newly created it's gonna order it that way, or I could go to my progress. I don't really have any progress, but if I had completed some courses, those would show first. So let me just show you that. So let me go here. And mark that complete. So now this is 6%. And when I refresh it, it puts that first because that's the one that has some progress. So that's really useful if you've actually taken some courses and there's, let's say, hundreds of courses in your directory, you can order that by progress and start on these. And by the way, all the stuff I'm showing you is not really part of LearnDash. These are all customizations we've added in the theme to improve the experience here. And then we see we have the instructors filter. So that's here. We have all instructors. I could say John. And it's just going to filter the courses created by John. Or if I click Santa, it's going to filter the courses created by Santa. If I open this course, we can see Santa as the instructor. So I can go in here and turn that off if I want to. And that's going to hide that filter. Now, one reason you might want to hide that filter is, let's say you're the site admin and you personally created all the courses, so you're the same author for every course. It's not really very useful to have that filter. But if you have the type of site where you have multiple instructors, then you might want people to be able to filter the courses by instructor. And then the last thing I want to show you are these labels. So these labels are basically coming from LearnDash logic, showing you what's going on in your courses. So any course that I am enrolled in but haven't started says start course. Any course I'm in says in progress. Okay, so I just paused for a second, and completed this course just so I can show you. When it's completed, it shows a complete label. 100% complete. And then I just paused and unenrolled myself from this course. So you can see I lose the start course button because I'm not in it yet. It says not enrolled. 
and then the progress goes away and it gives me the excerpt about the course description. And then I just paused one more time and made this a paid course instead of price of $100. And now we can see that the price displays in the course index as well.